Craig is a very provocative guy. He is widely read by many people. He's the author of a couple of books, one called Prophet of Doom, Islam's Terrorist Dogma in Muhammad's Own Words. His first book was Tea with Terrorists and believes that Islam is the source of terror and explains why Muslims kill. And, you know, every time we've had Craig on the show, we've always invited somebody from the Islamic community to come on with him. And no one ever will. We've tried. People have said they'd come on, then they don't, then they back out. And it's frustrating for me because I don't know the Koran. I've never studied the Koran. I don't know the intricacies of Islam. I know a lot of kind, loving Muslims who don't seem to be inclined to want to kill me because I'm the infidel. And yet Craig maintains that those aren't very good Muslims, that good, um, devout, de devout Muslims understand jihad and all of that. And we've had Craig on this show before to describe that. Now, finally, and, and I've I, I got to give credit to the, the group of Islamic leaders we met with a couple of weeks ago who helped to make this happen because it was a very productive meeting. We had some pizza. We broke bread. We sat around a table. I uh, met with representatives from CARE the Council on uh, American Islamic Relations. I met with the Islamic Center of Irving, Texas. I met with some NAACP representatives because they expressed concerns and they wanted the opportunity to meet with me in, in person, and I did. And it was, uh, frankly, if, if it did no, nothing more than lead to this broadcast right now, I am eternally grateful because joining us on the line is not only Craig Wynn, author of Prophet of Doom and Tea with Terrorists, but also... Jalal Abu Arub, who's a Palestinian with dual Jordanian-American nationality. He has authored and translated dozens of Islamic books. He is currently writing The Prophet of Mercy, which is in response to Craig Wynn's Prophet of Doom. So it is uh, wonderful to welcome Jalal Abu Arub to the Mike Gallagher Show. Jalal, how are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm glad you could join us. Thank you very much for your time. Well, it's my pleasure. Craig Wynn, author of Prophet of Doom, welcome back to the Mike Gallagher Show. Hello, Mike. Good morning. I'm glad, Good I'm glad you guys could both spend some time with us. Thank you, both of you, for, for, for joining us. Now, let's, let's do some ground rules here, okay? I want you both to have all the time you feel you need to express your point of view. But, Craig, I've, I've, and I've never spoken to you, Jalal, until now. I've spoken to you, Craig, many times. Craig, you tend to be a little verbose, a little lengthy, because I know you, you've got a lot to say. Both of you, if you can, try to remember that we're a bunch of dopes here listening to both of you. We're, we're laymen. We don't know the Koran. We don't have the, 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 the nuances that you guys will have. So please keep it in, in, in layman's terms as best you can. Is that fair? Yes. Great. Let's start with a very simple question. I'll ask you both the question. We're going to start with you, Jalal, then we'll have Craig respond. Jalal is Islam a religion of peace. Islam, by definition in Arabic, it doesn't mean peace. It means submission to the will of God. Uh, it's not, if you're asking if Islam is pacifist, it's not. But if you're asking is uh, Islam uh, terroristic or violent, then it isn't. And uh, today, I'm, I'm thanking you for your courage to invite me today because I'm going to uh, uh, challenge Craig Wynn to say something that's very, very direct and simple, and that is, I'm going to ask him to answer this question. Where does it say in the Arabic Quran, I mean Arabic, a language that he doesn't speak a word of, where does it say in the Arabic Quran, or in the prophetic sunnah, meaning tradition of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, just one verse, one prophetic statement, where it says the following, go kill civilians in war, target women and children. Explode yourself. Commit suicide. Hijack something and fly it into a building full of civilians. Go to churches and explode them. Kill priests and monks and go to synagogues and bring, burn them down to the ground. Okay, so Jalal is saying, Craig, that there's nothing in the Quran that suggests that Muslims are instructed to do any of the things we've seen terrorists do in our lifetime. Yeah, first, um, uh, Islam uh, simply means submission. 
the interpretation that it means submission to uh, to Allah is implied, uh, but uh, uh, Islam simply means uh, submission. Uh, second, as it relates to uh, to Islam, uh, it is true that Islam does not mean uh, peace, which is a a grotesque perversion of the truth that is often advanced by uh, many people in the uh, the media. Here is what uh, the uh, Islamic scholars who translated America's most popular uh, English uh, Quran had to say the first time jihad was uh, used in, uh, in Allah's recital. Uh, their words, not mine. Jihad is holy fighting in Allah's cause with full force and numbers of weaponry. It is given the utmost importance in Islam and is one of its pillars. By jihad, Islam is established. Allah's word is made superior which means only Allah has the right to be worshipped, and Islam is propagated. By abandoning jihad, Islam is destroyed, and Muslims fall into an inferior position. All right, Jalal, what is jihad? <laughs> First of all, Islam means submission, regardless of what he says. Uh, he doesn't speak Arabic. He has no idea what he's talking but he about. Said, but he said that. Secondly, secondly, jihad means to struggle. It doesn't mean to fight. Let me give you an example. Prophet Muhammad said, the mujahid, the one who does jihad, is the one who does jihad against his own self. If it means fighting or committing a suicide mission, how do you suggest I make jihad against myself? By choking myself to death? Jihad doesn't mean to fight. It's one of its meanings. However, he didn't answer my question. Where is that verse in the Quran or prophetic sunnah that says, go kill civilians? Greg? I'm right? glad to, uh, to answer that question, but first, uh, let's, let's just deal with uh, jihad. Uh, funny here that I just said that uh, Islam means submission, and <laughs> he confirmed what I said but disagreed with me, which is kind of funny. Here's the uh, in Prophet of Doom. Because the line here is fast. I'm going to deal with jihad. Okay. In Prophet of Doom, uh, I, the entire book, which is probably the... the uh, the most comprehensive, most chronological, and best documented presentation of the formation of Islam and the words and deeds of, uh, of Muhammad as they are revealed in the earliest Islamic scriptures. I organized the book chronologically, but at the end of the book, what I did is I also organized the most important Islamic uh, verses by context. Under the, uh, the context of jihad, I have some three or four hundred uh, quotes uh, from those Islamic scriptures defining what jihad is according to Muhammad. And what's interesting is that all of those quotes have jihad in a, uh, in a fighting context. Jihad is ordained for you Muslims, though you uh, dislike it. By the way, the translators of the Quran when jihad was mentioned said it's holy fighting in Allah's cause, though you dislike it. It's possible that you delight, dislike something that is good for you and a thing and dislike something, like something that is bad for you, but Allah knows and you do not know. Warfare is ordained for you. Not equal are those believers who sit home and receive no injurious hurt that's therefore going out to fight. Right. Those who strive hard, fighting jihad in Allah's cause with their wealth and their lives. Allah has granted a rank higher to those who strive hard, fighting jihad with their wealth and body, right, right, than on. those who sit home. Right, Jalal, there's nothing in the Quran about killing infidels? Absolutely not. Without, without justification, without war, without being in a battle, absolutely not. Well, but, 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 but wait a minute. Would, would, would Muslims consider occupying or, or assisting Israel as being justification, for example, for a war, for jihad? Excuse me, I, I, didn't, I didn't get that. Would Muslims consider our alliance with Israel as provocation or justification for jihad? In other words, you said without provocation. Well, I've heard many Muslims say that our aid and comfort to uh, Israel is justification for jihad. What do you think if Cuba occupied occupied Philadelphia or occupied Florida? I'm sorry. Does this mean that you have to fight them or not? I mean, if, if America... Well, if Cuba invaded Philadelphia, i got to believe we'd fight back. Okay, the same thing happens with Muslims. Do you think they have the right to fight back if anyone, including Muslims, invade their land? You mean, uh, listen to me, some Muslims, many of them, supported Kuwait when Iraq invaded, even though Iraq were Muslims, mm -hmm. on the basis of jihad. 